When I woke, I realized I was in a rose garden. Right there in front of me, the mind and the heart were chatting. And the ant on the ground was trying to prevent all the wars in the world. The beggar in the cove of a tree I was leaning on had decided it was his duty to destroy the system established by bankers. A crying lover was swearing at numbers and the four arithmetical operations. A slave, his hands and feet in chains, was mending damaged justice. A madman sitting back to front atop his donkey was changing the syllabi in schools according to a book he had written himself. And a mother, breastfeeding her child at the exit gate of the garden, declared that nature, animals, and humans were free. I left the garden that smelled of roses and began to think, yes, the mind and the heart should be one. The ant should stop all the wars and animosity should cease. The beggar should cut the tie between possession and well-being and destroy money. The madly in love Mejnun should reconcile love and mathematics. The slave must defeat the tyrant and hand out justice fairly. Teachers should, of course, forget about syllabi. Children should read what they feel the need for. Experience the development and maturation of the soul with love. Live as they deserve to and die when the time comes. Epilog. On the night of 27 May 2013, bulldozers enter Gezi Park in Taksim, Istanbul. A three meter long section of a wall was demolished and five trees were uprooted. This intervention was carried out without an official license. A group protesting the intervention prevented the demolition by obstructing the path of the work machines. Protesters put up tents and began to keep vigil over the trees. On the morning of May 29th, the police raided the park. When the protesters in the park were forcibly evicted, a movement of resistance was sparked in Istanbul. On May 31st, Friday, and the following weekend, police attacked the protesters 15 times using excessive amounts of pepper gas. Water cannons spraying pressurized water with added chemicals and plastic bullets. Television channels did not cover the protests and the police interventions. However, only on the Friday the hashtag Dirangazi was used 1,949,528 times on Twitter. On June 1st, the protesters succeeded in reclaiming the park, tents were put up once again, and the vigil continued. On 14 different live broadcasts, the Prime Minister spoke for 520 minutes. The words he used most were, We, Turkey, Istanbul, Taksim, and these, opting for the pronoun used for objects rather than people to refer to the protesters. On the evening of June 15th, the police forcibly evicted the park for the last time. The next day, the Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality began to plant new trees and flowers in the park. The park remained closed for days during this renovation, sealed off around the clock by a cordon of uniformed and plain clothes police officers. Everything began when five trees were uprooted in a park in the center of Istanbul, but the resistance spread all across Turkey. As of 12 July 2013, 3,584 people have been detained. 121 people have been arrested. 8,041 people have been injured. 6 people have died. Source, Human Rights Foundation of Turkey. Yeruldum! 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 Y